In this research reports clip, Dr. Ganesh Viswanath Natraj, an assistant professor of finance at Warwick University, explains what arbitrage is and why it's an essential feature of functioning markets and of stable coins. Hope you enjoyed this clip and don't forget to like and subscribe. So arbitrage, um, essentially think of it as some sort of round trip, almost risk-free transaction that an investor can make to make profit. Um, and the simplest type of arbitrage is like a goods arbitrage, right? So let's say you've got like a Big Mac uh, in two countries and let's, let's assume that you can trade them. You can like um, without worrying about transportation or anything like that. And so if there is a difference in the Big Mac prices in two countries, let, let, let's say they're identical uh, Big Macs and they can be traded uh, for one another, then um, investor can take say a Big Mac in UK, um, let's say it's cheaper in UK than the US, then they can buy the Big Mac in the UK and then sell that same Big Mac in the US at, uh, to make a profit, right? So essentially, um, when you do this arbitrage, what will happen is that you are buying it where it's low. So you're buying it in the UK where it's low and then you're selling it in the US where it's high. And so in doing that, you will drive the US Big Mac price down and because you're buying it in the UK, you'll drive the UK Big Mac price up until they uh, meet. And so the arbitrage is kind of stabilizing, right? Because you're, you're essentially kind of equalizing the price of the Big Mac in the two countries. So that's obviously a very stylized example. But the same principle applies when we think about um, stablecoin prices, right? So you've got an exchange that sells uh, st stable coins uh, or buys and sells stable coins at say $1.05. So they uh, one tether is equal to $1.05, for example, on an exchange, like say Binance or Coinbase. Then um, the tether treasury is willing to buy and sell tether at one USD, right? So, so the primary market rate, which is, what we call the rate that the treasury gives is one USD. Whereas the secondary market rate, which is a Binance Coinbase is $1.05. So the same principle applies. You buy the lower price and then you sell at the higher price. So here you would buy Tether at one USD from the Tether treasury. And that's equivalent to depositing dollars with the Tether treasury and you obtain Tether then you sell that tether at the higher price on say Coinbase or some exchange, and then you make a profit. And that will, again, what, what's that doing? So you are now um, selling a lot of uh, tether on Coinbase or on exchange, and that will drive the tether price down until it goes back to one USD. So that's why the arbitrage is stabilizing.